I was walking in a creek near Waratah recently and came across one of the strangest creatures found in Tasmania. Not at all cute, no fur, no soft ears, just claws that catch and teeth that snatch. Oh, sorry, that, that was Jabberwocky. This prehistoric looking creature, however, certainly does have claws. And while the one I saw soon vanished under the water and didn't reappear, it made me want to find out more about them. So, as part of the Tasmanian living journey of discovery, I took a drive out to the lobster ponds near Flowerdale in Tasmania's northwest, just a 10 minute drive from Wynyard. Established in 2003 by local farmer Don Branage to highlight the need to protect the freshwater lobster, the lobster ponds were closed in 2011 due to the demise, unfortunately, of Mr. Bramage. But reopening in 2013, thanks to a dedicated team of passionate volunteers, the ponds are now open from Thursday to Sunday. Well, private functions and group bookings may be made at other times. And construction has recently started on an enclosure to house the endangered orange-bellied parrot. But that means another visit from Tasmanian Living in the future, so we can bring you that story. Chatting to Ray and Dale at the lobster pond soon filled my head with lots of information about these animals, and I asked if I could dip the GoPro camera into some of the tanks and ponds. This is the footage you are watching now. So, to the lobster. Technically a crayfish, this giant freshwater creature is locally known as a lobster, so that's what we shall call it here. But with over 30 species of crayfish and different species of lobster in Tasmania alone, it's hard to know what you're seeing. So here's a little tip. If you saw it in salt water and it has no claws, it's a rock lobster. If you saw it in salt water and it has claws, it's a lobster. If you saw it in fresh water and it has claws, it's a crayfish. So there you go. I was told the one I saw near Waratah was a different species than the one further north, so we will concentrate on Astacopsis guldi. I hope I said that right as this is the one you will see at the lobster ponds. The largest freshwater invertebrate and the largest freshwater crayfish species in the world, found in the rivers below 400 metres above sea level in northern Tasmania, it's listed as an endangered species due to overfishing and habitat degradation. It's been prohibited to catch the crayfish since 1998. Large fines have and will be given to anyone caught catching or possessing one of these animals. Now these animals may take up to 14 years to become sexually mature, so they can then lay eggs, mate and lay eggs. They shed their skin or shed molt uh, approximately every two years thereabouts, depending on environmental conditions probably, and they like the water temperature to be under 18 degrees. Any more than that, and they're likely to uh, pick up their boots and wander off and go and find a cooler creek or body of water. Pretty amazing creatures. I was quite fascinated by the fact that uh, within that two years before they molt, they seem to, well, they seem to become part of their surroundings, growing all sorts of algae and mold and that's just part of their life cycle. Once they molt, of course, they have nice, fresh uh, uh, shells and skin. The giant freshwater crayfish grows very slowly and, as mentioned, reaches maturity at a very late age. They have been reported to grow up to about six and a half kilos and one meter in length from claw tip to tail, although animals weighing two to three kilos are now considered large. They can live for up to 60 years, and their main food item is decaying wood. Although their diet varies with age, and they also eat leaves and animal flesh, including small fish when available. Now, I recommend having a, a trip out to the lobster ponds at Flowerdale. Go and visit them. They have a cafe, uh, lots of beautiful food, um, of course, scones with jam and cream and they're available for group bookings, as mentioned earlier. Get yourself along, go and look at the crayfish, go and discover the crayfish, and then see if you can spot them in the bush. Don't touch them, leave them alone, but see if you can find them in the creeks and the rivers around Tasmania. It's quite the hunt, it's quite the discovery.
This is Alan for Tasmanian Living saying that was the freshwater lobster and this is Tasmanian Living.